tao dito. Dito wala, no?
Magandang umaga Pilipinas and welcome to the final rounds of the PFF U19 Boys National Championship 2023. The final four is on and we are ready and excited to crown the new champions of the PFF U19 Boys National Championship. My name is Jamer De La Cruz, your commentator for this morning's match. It'll be an interesting game between the NCRFA going up against Panay FA. Taking a look first on the NCRFA, their run towards the uh, knockout stages are very impressive, but we're going to talk about that in a few minutes as we take a look at the starting lineups. Almost the core lineup of NCRFA who faced Nofa in the championship match last year are still intact with Diola on goal, Solidum, Marinas, and Gatungay as well. Helping out the attack, uh, Christensen uh, will be joining the mix as their team captain, Steven Flores and Christian Lope. And also their head coach will be Dan Padernal, a very uh, seasoned coach who already uh, guided his wards in Mendiola FC 1991 and now guiding the wards out here in NCRFA. Meanwhile, we also take a look at the starting lineups for Panay FA. Selwyn Mamon, the only player missing out in this squad, uh, or the only promising player missing out on this squad. They're almost still intact with the uh, likes of Bayo Ang uh, on goal, uh, Pulmones in defense, Botavara in midfield as their team captain, Jan Patrick Baito, Mark Aaron Celis, or Albion Celis rather, and uh, Carlo Lustan building up the mix for. Panay RFA. Now we talk about the road to the semifinals for both sides. Starting off first with NCRFA, they are undefeated in their group stage. Five wins out of five, plus 13 in goal difference. And what's more interesting about this is they haven't conceded a goal in the in the group stages. If they had, they only conceded one out of those. Uh, matches that they have played and they have actually faced some tough opponents including the uh, former champions or the defending champions Nofa in their group. Meanwhile, Panay RFA finished second with nine points and plus four in goal difference. Thanks as well to the points deduction for Davao South RFA because of some infringements in the entire tournament. A core team like what we mentioned are still intact. They're going to be expecting the likes of John Patrick Baito and Mark Avon Celis to be threatening the goal mouth. You also have Celarde who will be helping out. And also uh, Francis Botavara, their team captain, will be very interesting. On the other side, NCRFA, they might be missing out on, on some key players. By the likes of Dominic Tom, a uh, few players from Tuloy FC, as well as the players who played in ADT. But what's at stake right now is that title that they have won in 2019. They're hoping to bring it back to NCR in 2023. So, just a few minutes. It's NCR FA going up against Panay RFA here at the PFF U19 Boys National Championship 2023 final rounds. We'll see you in a few minutes.
The stars of tomorrow will be plucked from this very squad that we have in the final rounds of the PFFU 19 Boys National Championship 2023. They might be looking up now to some of the players who are in Thailand playing for the U23s by the likes of Selwyn Mamon, Carl Absalon, and a few more players out there playing for the national side because that's where they're going to be going to if they perform really, really well and, and uh, make some great impacts in this tournament. Panay FA wearing their maroon kits and TRFA with their white kits as well. We're almost done with the PFFU 19 Boys National Championship and we just can't wait for this game to start. Once again, my name is Jamer De La Cruz, the commentator for today's match. We would like to thank you all for watching this early morning game and the uh, PFF or the Philippine Football Federation's Facebook page and YouTube channel. Make sure that you share this stream as well to your family and friends so that mas marami pang makapanood sa atin at mas marami pang makaalam na marami tayong amazing players dito sa Pilipinas in terms of youth football. Team captains Daniel Christensen and uh, Francis Botavara just uh, having their final instructions with uh, our referees. First referee, Zaid Malang, assisted by Justoni Concepcion, Christopher Salon, and our fourth official will be Samuel Mendoza. And our match commissioner is Mr. Warren Concepcion. Naglabas na ang supporters ng Panay FA, majority, majority of them watching all the way from Barotac Nuevo where the greatest players in the Philippines have been produced by the likes of Chief Ikaligdong and who could actually forget the legendary Paulino Alcantara banking on the history that they have in Barotac looking to have that transcend into the youth system called the U19 right now against NCRFA. On the other side, NCRFA had their chance at glory. They had appeared in the last three finals in the PFFU 19 Boys Championship, of course, missing out one in the pandemic in 2020. But here they are now looking very composed and ready to bring the crown back to NCR. Champions of 2009, run 2022, looking to get that trophy back. On the other side, Panay RFA looking to do an upset and bring that trophy into the historic town that is called Barotac Nuevo. Players are ready. The officials are ready. We are ready for kickoff. It's NCRFA against Panay FA at the Dynamic Herb Sports Stadium for your first finals of the 2023 PFF U19 Boys National Champion. We have kickoff. NCRFA playing from right to left. Trying to compose themselves, calm things down in the early process of the match. Early morning, pero alam nyo naman na mainit na ang gantong oras sa umaga, 8.30. Uh, before, it was an ideal time para lumabas at magpaaraw mga bata. Ngayon ay medyo delikado na because of the increased heat. But let's see how they're gonna use that to their advantage as NCRFA with the chance out here. They're gonna take it back to Flores. Starting the play from the back is Lance Luxin. Marami ding followers na nababasa natin sa comment section kanina-kanina lang. Great 1-2 for NCRFA but easily intercepted by Panay. Now, Panay RFA on the counterattack. 
couldn't get it through the defense. And NCRFA with the deflection. They're going to try from the left side through Elopre. Babalik nila ang bola sa likod. You could hear Coach Dan Podernal barking instructions from the touchline. Says, hold the ball, hold the ball. They want to play this possession style. And just passing the ball around, finding the open spaces. Here they go on the attack. Through ball to the middle. Easily intercepted by John Lee Dilley. But the ball goes out for a throw in. Isang araw lang, we have the Copa Paulino Alcantara hosted here at the Dynamic Herb Sports Stadium between your host, Dynamic Herb Cebu FC, against the University of the Philippines Fighting Maroons. The host winning two goals to nil thanks to Chima Uzoka. Ngayon naman, mga kabataan naman ang ating makikita, ang ating future of Philippine football here at the home of Cebu Football Club. Sa alas dos na laro pa po natin makikita si Jax Peña. Ano po, mamaya-maya pa. Uh, but let's see if he's gonna suit up. We have the 2.30pm game between uh, Stallion Laguna U19. And the other semifinalists in Central Visayas FA. So you have to uh, tune in to the Philippine Football Federation socials as well for the other semifinals. NCRFA a little bit frantic in offense as of the moment. But being able to compose themselves at the back. They missed the pass out there. Or was it Lopre? Or rather, I think that was Luxin who missed the pass from the back. Now Panay RFA having a chance to go for the counter. Panay FA with possession once more. Makukuha ng NCR FA. Counter attack from the right side. Easily covered out there by the defense. And Panay concedes the first corner of the match. Referee Zai just giving a talking to one of the players of Panay RFA. Not liking the second motions after getting possession for their side. Now a corner to be taken by NCRFA. This will be an, an in-swinger. The left-footed player on the right side. Glancing header from a couple of players in white. And NCRFA couldn't capitalize on the chance. NCR with the possession. Sends it inside. Great pass towards the forward. And now NCR FA opens the scoring in just five minutes. In the semifinals of the PFF U19 Boys National Championship. They have to confirm who scored the goal. But let's take a look at this pass once again from the back. Looks in with a great incisive pass forward. First goal for NCR FA in their first strike on goal. Confirmation from our stadium announcer. The goal scorer is Vincenzo Solidum. 
We heard that right. NCRFA are in the books. Scoring the first goal of the semifinals. You wouldn't want NCRFA to get an early lead in this competition. Provided how they played in the group stages. Only conceding one goal out of five games. Scoring 14 goals in those five matches. Long ball forward. Looking for Solidum again. If we're not mistaken on the right side. Inside the box. Great pass. Juggles past one. Couldn't get past two. He goes through the defense. They get the ball once again. NCR. Not for long as Panay FA wins possession in their own box. They switch the play to the right side for Mark Celis. Through ball, but couldn't get it through. A foul is going to be called, though, against NCR. been nervy in the first eight minutes of this match but as of the moment NCRFA getting the better of uh, Panay let's see what they can produce from this free kick it's headed away by NCRFA aatake naman ngayon ang NCR through Elopre dito sa kaliwa Elopre hindi makaalago sa depensa pero makukuha ng kakampi niya na si Flores Clearance para sa Panay FA. May counter-attack chance ba? Quick strike on goal. Deflected. Babalik ang bola sa Panay. Dito sa right side. Celis. Down the byline. Makukuha ng depensa ng NCR FA. NCRFA ngayon na may dala ng bola. Pasa sa gitna, makukuha at babalik ulit sa NCRFA. Elopre, through ball, inahanap dito si Marinas. Marinas taken down and foul is called against Panay FA. Warning ang binigay ng ating referee. So, chance na ngayon para sa NCRFA para makakuha pa ng isang goal dito in just a span of 10 minutes sa ating laro. Free kick inside the box, headed away, only as far as another player in white, pero makukuha ulit ng panay at may foul na itatawag doon ng ating referee. An IFA Magallanes nakuha na ng bola pero makukuha ulit ng NCRFA or rather ng uh, Panay FA pero hanggang doon na lang muna ang atake ng Panay. Jan Riven Diola, very experienced pagdating sa U19 competitions. If we're not mistaken this if we're not mistaken this is his third run in the PFF U19 Boys National Championship. Possibly the last one in his career before he 
moves on and transition himself into the U22s or the U23s. Lopre, di makakalusot. Ang NCRFA doon, Flores, di maka, or rather, di makalusot. Si Flores, clearance para sa Panay. Team captain number 10, Botavara. Ahanap ng pasa dito sa taas. Ngunit hindi makukuha dito sa kanan ni Celis. Babalik ang bola para sa NCRFA. 11 minutes have gone by in this first half. 50-50 in terms of possession so far. But NCRFA with the advantage in terms of